Welcome back to Word, weekly passwords to the riddles of our lives. I'm Amichai on the beach in Tel Aviv. Early, early morning, which is why I'm looking a little tired. But I just took a dip in the sea, in the yam. More about her in a moment. But here's the question, the riddle. What is it that sustains us like nothing else does? That is the key source of contention and yearning in the world? And the answer is maim, water. The water of life, 70% of our body, so much of our planet, and a word that shows up again and again in the Torah story this coming week, Fukat. The Israelites are traveling through the desert and they are fed up. Again, they're protesting. Again, there's a clamor for something else. This time, they're saying, no more bread, no more water. Lechem in, mine in. In chapter 21, verse six, they're protesting. And later on, with the absence of water, Moses is going to hit the rock and water will come out. Later on, his sister Miriam will die and the well she has provided through her mystical, magical powers dries up. The people need water, both physical and metaphysical. Maim, water, is the sacred essence of life. There are so many resources available to all that are withheld for all. The Middle East, where I am right now, is where water has been a source of contention for generations and continues to be so. It is one of the places of discord between Palestine and Israeli negotiations for accords of states and borders and resources. Right behind me, the Yam. People don't know, but it is the name of the goddess, the Canaanite goddess, Yam, who is the queen of water. And people still use her name today, but don't remember that what she was about in the ancient Semitic pantheon is access to everything. Everybody had access to yam, to water. And just like in the Torah, the protest leads to blood and death and a drought on so many levels. In our lives, we are aware of when water and dignity and justice and access and nourishment are prevented and deprived by some at the expense of others. This coming weekend is Juneteenth, the day that honors and remembers the moment when the proclamation of emancipation was enacted in the United States and slavery was outlawed and freedom was celebrated as we still keep fighting for it. Water like freedom, like air, like dignity, like justice is right here and it's on us. And as I'm speaking, it's raining right here. Yam is blessing me with a very rare June Tel Aviv morning drizzle. May the blessing of waters from above and below, inside and beyond help us all be the ones who quench the thirst. All of our thirsts for pride and for dignity, for justice, for freedom. For a dip in the ocean as often as we can and for the waters of life. Thanks for joining me for Word, weekly passwords to the riddles of our lives, dismantling patriarchy and quenching our thirst, one word at a time. Shabbat Shalom from Tel Aviv. I'm going back in.